Yes, you did read the title of this video correctly, and unfortunately, this actually happened. It's the silly story of when I asked the CEO at a business conference if pineapple belonged on pizza. Probably one of the most uncomfortably awkward things I've ever done. So this took place during my first year of university, and one of my friends had sent me a message of an upcoming event. It was a student business conference, the kind where you go in, network, meet new people, experience the real-life business environment, that sort of stuff. And that friend wanted me to join in just so they could have a buddy with them, because, you know, who wants to be there on their own? So I was like, okay, cool. I'll see you at the meeting, I signed up for it, this'll be great. Now, in a business conference, you probably have a few expectations of what you might see there, like people in suits and dresses formally dressed up. I arrived in a polo shirt and jeans because my suit didn't arrive in time. I was thinking, since I already paid to attend this conference, I probably should just bear with it. You know, everyone else might be dressed way more professionally than I am, but it's okay, I still got my friend to sit with. Um, about that, our assigned seats were literally on the complete opposite sides of the room. I was in the front corner, they were in the back corner, it, <laughs> it genuinely, we could not have been more apart. And everyone else was there conversing, networking, while I just sat there in my little hamster bowl, quiet, not saying anything, trying not to get people's attention. <laughs> And uh, you'll quickly learn that you're going to have to speak sooner or later, there's, there's no way around it. It's the introvert's worst nightmare, socializing like this. You know, being forced to do it. Or I guess in my case, self-imposed. And uh, on my table, when everyone got there, uh, someone had the idea of, you know, going around one by one, uh, introducing each other, and they all looked at me due to my lack of outfit. And I was like, okay, well, crap, I guess I'm first. And I introduced myself as I would to anyone else on the street. Very non-professional, very casual, so it would be like, Hi, I'm Sharky. I'm just some guy, I like video games, I like anime women. And you might think something is wrong with that introduction. And you're right, it's not woke enough. You gotta be inclusive these days, people. Anime people, not anime women. I'm only kidding, by the way, but I did introduce myself pretty badly. The moment I said that, I'd realized what I said, and I was like, Oh shit, uh, I really said that, uh, and then I just start panicking. And luckily, everyone at my table was very nice, and they understood, they could tell that I was very, very nervous, and they let me try again, they, they, they're very nice people. <laughs> and so I, 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 I fixed up my introduction, you know, Hi, I'm Sharky, a marketing major, in a few years when I graduate, I'm gonna be professionally qualified to produce terrible mobile game advertisements. Nice to meet you all. And remember, make sure to use my code EXPIRED2018 for 100 billion gazillion quintillion gold coins and a free 10-star SSR Ultra Rare Legendary Character Unit! You'll reach 50 attack power in no time. What are you waiting for? 420 Dungeon 69, Keeper of the Lost Adverts. Download for free today. I uh, didn't actually say that, but you get the point, it was much better, but either way, I felt terrible for everyone else at that table because I, I was just this guy super unprepared, it I very unprofessional, and I don't know, I, I felt awful. <laughs> and after a while, after some dinner, uh, the keynote speaker came on stage and started giving their special presentation, and this guy... Yes, is the CEO character you've been waiting for. And he gave his presentation, did his thing, moved to the question and answer section, and I still don't know why, but I just had this urge to be a prick and ask whether pineapples belonged on pizza. And, <laughs> you know, I just had to know. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I had second thoughts. I didn't really want to ask that question in front of lots of people who probably already hate my guts for <laughs> not being professional. <laughs> well, but the presentation ended, and the MC came on the stage, and he was like, Cool, conference is over. Anyone still with questions can meet the CEO in the back. You can still ask the questions to everyone else. You can go home. You're free. And that was my opportunity to ask the question. So I met back up with my friend again. I filled them in on the details of what I'm about to do. And their reaction was, well, they, they asked a series of questions to me, like, Are you okay? You know, do I need help? 
and all these questions can really be summed up as, what fucking drug was I on? And to be fair, present-day Sharky would like to ask the same question. So still committed to asking the question, I went to the back to line up, and you know, I, I occasionally accidentally eavesdrop on the other people asking questions, and they were very good questions, very deep, very thought-provoking questions. And then there was me, ready with the does pineapple belong on pizza question. And eventually, I got to the front, and I asked the question, does pineapple belong on pizza? So some answers you might expect, like yes, no, get out of my sight, uh, he didn't say any of that. In fact, he gave an even worse answer because he took it seriously when I asked the question. I thought this was all gonna be one big troll, but no, he took it seriously. I could see, like, the cogs in his mind spinning, just thinking on it, his, like, face. And he even said he didn't know pineapples on pizza existed. And so he thought about it for a while. And the answer he ended up coming up with was... Yeah, I don't, I don't, why not? <laughs> and that was it, that, that was the whole, this is what this all led up to, just that. Just the, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah. <laughs> and at the end of all this, you might be questioning whether this story was actually true. And, you know, fair enough. But I can assure you it is. I can also say that there is probably some sort of recording or security footage that exists somewhere of the conference, and subsequently this whole thing happening. But I hope it burns and never sees the light of day. So what have we learned? Come properly dressed to professional events, don't say the first thing that comes to mind, and um, don't ask a company CEO if pineapple belongs on pizza because, you know, maybe it isn't the greatest idea out there.